How's it going, everybody? Ed Ricker here, outside in nature, and uh, I have an assortment of filters in front of me for the DJI Osmo Pocket right here. Now, I have yet to do a real review of the Osmo Pocket, but I've been using it quite a bit, and these filters really help out. So if you're interested in the Osmo Pocket, maybe some of these filters are for you. So these are Freewell Gear filters. We're gonna start with actually this one. This is the Freewell Gear 4K series all-day filter eight pack. Uh, so it has all the neutral density and polarizer filters you would need for a given day, all the way from a very cloudy day or late in the day to full on sun, high noon, very bright conditions. Then we have landscape filters where the gradient of light to dark on the filter actually allows you to darken the sky without darkening the ground so much in a landscape shot or in other environments where you wanna flip that and you wanna have a darker uh, base or a darker uh, ground maybe, and then the, the brightness of the sky is a little bit brighter, and it really helps for situations where uh, multiple different exposures are necessary to expose properly for one single image. We'll talk about more of that later. And then we have these two filters here called clear night filters, and they're designed to kind of change the color temperature of lighting. When you're shooting outdoors in a city environment, you have a lot of that yellow light coming off of some of the bulbs around the city and it kind of casts a kind of a, a orangish or a yellowish hue on everything so if you want something to look a little bit different a little more picturesque you might want to use one of these filters and actually the one here is for the DJI Osmo Pocket Freewell Gear also sells them for the DJI Mavic 2 series Zoom and Pro, I got the Pro version here, and we're gonna go through some of those options. So lots of filters today. So I'm gonna bring out the Osmo Pocket here. And uh, to get this shot, I mean, it's a cloudy day. It's not a bright day out. But to get this shot well exposed, I am shooting at 1 240th second shutter speed, which is a high shutter speed. If you're using like 30 frames per second like we're using here, if we see motion in the shot, you see how my hand is very stuttery. There's really no motion blur in the image as I wave back and forth. Now when I'm shooting video with anything really, I like to have a little bit of motion blur in the shot, unless I'm shooting something like sports, something very fast moving. But for the most part, I like to shoot with a little bit of motion blur. So let's open up one of these filters and I'm gonna show you what they entail. This is the, um, we're gonna start with the big one, the All Day 8 Filter Pack. On the top here we have a circular polarizer as well as an ND8, 16, 32, and 64 all with polarizers. So those are the hybrid options. And then they also give us an ND4, 8, and 16. So as you go up the number on the ND or neutral density, you go up a stop in how much light that is cutting out of your image. So it's darkening your image without colorizing your image. That's what we want right now. So right now you can see that the image is way overexposed. And this is the sweet spot for my shutter speed. 1 60th second, second shutter speed for a 30 frame per second clip. So if I wanna bring down this exposure and get back to something that looks good, uh, I'm gonna to have to add a filter to it. So here we go, I'm gonna pick, let's pick ND8. It's hard to know for now. I mean, it's, it's not a bright day out. It's kind of cloudy and overcast. So I'm gonna take the filter and the way that they connect is magnetic. There's actually a magnet that holds the filter in place, just like that. Now there's good things and bad things about that. I can imagine this would be knocked off relatively easily. It's, it's only magnets and it's not held on super, super tight. But in order to preserve that gimbal movement, I'm not sure how else they would do it. So anyway, I, I, can, I can understand. So we've applied the ND8 and it looks pretty good. Now this is just the uh, neutral density version. They also have the polarized options. This is an ND8 with polarized option. And so here we have this red ring that turns independent of the rest of the filter. So the polarizer will enable us to uh, bring out certain colors in the trees, in the sky, in water, other non-metallic surfaces where you see reflections. Polarized filters, oh, we're getting some sun out here finally. Polarized uh, options are going to uh, bring out some of that radiance in the image. And I'll show you what I mean. You can see th things happen in the image, like here I'm pointed at this building, and look at how the roof changes, goes from dark to light. And that's because there is a little bit of reflection coming off of that roof that the camera's picking up, and the polarizer filter is uh, either 
uh, blocking that or allowing it in, depending on how I turn the, the polarizer. So a point to make here is that now the sun has come out, I might opt for a darker filter because right now I'm pointed out here and the same filter that looked okay about five minutes ago now looks a little bright. So to wrap up those filters, what I'm trying to go for here is a low ISO with a shutter speed twice my frame rate. And that's because you can't change the aperture or the iris on the Osmo Pocket. It's a fixed aperture, so that's one less point of control, which then brings us to using neutral density filters. Let's go on to the Landscape Series filters here. Um, now these are a pack of three, just like that. Now I'm not sure if you can really see in the camera, but if I were to pop one of these out, you see how one side of this filter is a little bit darker than the other? It also has a red ring, which allows you to turn it so you can change what part of the image is getting that dark gradient of the filter. So if you want to have a darker sky, it's kind of overblown, but you don't want to darken the ground for a land nice landscape shot or a city shot like I'm doing here, you can turn the ring on the filter and find exactly what part of the image you want to have more or less exposed. Now let's go on to the clear night filters. Um, this is probably going to be shot in a different spot because I need to be shooting at night. I'm outside alone at night in a creepy area of town. But anyway, so we're going to be testing out what clear night filters do. What they're supposed to do is reduce some of the light pollution at night when shooting cityscapes and allow for shots that aren't so heavily yellow or sepia toned. So I have some for the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket. I also have some for uh, the Mavic 2 Pro. They also make it for the Mavic 2 Zoom, but I don't have my Zoom with me today. All right, we got the filter right here and you can see it's kind of pinkish. I mean, I know it's not really focusing with my camera, but you can at least see through to my face, my eye there, it's pink. Right now, my Osmo Pocket ISO setting is all the way up to 3200, which is as high as the ISO will go. Um, my shutter speed is down to twice my frame rate, which is about as low as I'd wanna go. And since we can't open up our aperture anymore, that's pretty much as bright of our image as we're gonna get at night. So the fact that we're also losing a little bit more light by using this filter, which I would imagine is about half a stop worth of light reduction, we might need an even brighter environment to really capture things well. Let's talk about the filters a little more. So they look like they're high quality. They seem to be high quality. However, I do think that the packaging could benefit a little bit from some redesign. If you look at some of these clear night filters, it just doesn't seem like a good uh, long-term storage solution. I would love to see something that's like a fourth of this size if it's gonna include something that small, especially if you also wanted to go with other filters uh, like the all day pack or the landscapes. Then all of a sudden you have a bunch of different packs of the same size and outwardly you don't even know which one is which. Uh, so you really have to then start thinking about marking these, you know, writing on them or something to indicate what exactly they are at a glance. So I've never been a fan of this particular filter case. I don't have any problem with the filters. It's just the case is a, a little rough in my opinion. Also for a filter that connects magnetically, I don't really know if I put much faith in how strong that connection is. I have a feeling I'm gonna be losing some of these. A, because they're so small. B, because they're held on by magnets. But I don't really know how else you would attach a filter to the Osmo Pocket the way it's currently designed. So I guess they've done the best they can. It's just something you have to kind of keep in mind and be careful of. Looking at pricing here, the uh, all day pack, eight, eight filter pack is 130 US dollars. Now they also have different options. They have the standard day uh, or the bright day pack for about 70 each. So it really depends on what you want to use. Um, this is the all day filter pack, but it definitely isn't necessary. There are a lot of days where I probably wouldn't even use the ND32 or 64 options just because that's too dark. Uh, most, most situations, unless I'm doing some sort of um, long exposure, photography would not need uh, something that dark. 
I think that Freewell Gear has always sold uh, and advertised affordable filters. You can go more expensive probably with other brands, but Freewell Gear has always seemed to keep it under a certain price point. I've always appreciated that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Thank you to Freewell Gear for sending these to me for review. If you're looking for more information, check the link in the video description. Also check out edricker.com for some of the filter choices I use for my drones. And I'm hoping to update my website in the near future with some other good stuff for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy shooting, flying and recording and whatever else this video may apply.